G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the north side of the map, playing in the color red, representing Izzy Esports. On the Ottomans, it is Marine Lord. And on the south side of the map, playing in the color blue, as the Ottomans also, it's Beastie Cutie. Ladies and gentlemen, it all comes down to this. This best of five series, play all five series, hosted by EGC TV, who, by the way, are live at 15 GMT on Saturday and Sunday. Make sure you check them out on Twitch. These guys have uh, have hosted the tournament up, but uh, it now comes to an end. Or I, I said the tournament, it's a show match, uh, but it now comes to an end. And, uh, well, look, I've got good news for you guys and bad news for you guys. The bad news is, well, chalk up another Ottoman loss because they've been losing nonstop in these events. Uh, good news, though, chalk up an Ottoman win. That's right, they're on the board. We can, I can guarantee you guys at least one Ottoman victory <laughs> right now. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes and what the strategy will be here for these players already. We can begin to see it's going to be the 7 and 3 coming out from the Beastie on the other side of the map. It looks like it's going to be 7 and 3 by the same time for Marine Lord. I'm curious whether we see one more added in. And whether we get any divergence from the standard build order, we've seen both of these guys throughout the series, whenever they're playing Ottomans, actually looking to go into the uh, Madrasa landmark. So the Twin Minaret Madrasa landmark has been the most common uh, of the landmarks that we've seen players go for. Uh, but we haven't really seen out the trading landmark too much. So... We'll, uh, we'll wait and see exactly how we go. And you can see he's actually luring up a bunch of boars there. I say a bunch of boars. There's only a, a, a couple of wolves. But uh, obviously there's, 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 they're not coming back with him. That change has happened. You can see Marine Lord now running away. It's single scout opening here. No surprises there. Seems pretty standard to be going single scout uh, with the Ottomans just because they've got so much access to food. It doesn't make a lot of sense to be going any more than that. But now we see the balance coming through for Beastie. He's looking to add in. Oh, bit of idle time right there. Queues up two more villagers. Uh, so we see him. He actually chopped down this tree and then dropped down the lumber camp. But still that tree remains. Check it on the other side of the map as we've got the age. I'm about to come through. It looks like he did go for a four villagers here. So I'm suspecting this is going to be the twin mineral madrasa that comes down. Indeed it is. Uh, and so we've got plenty of food that comes in on this one. So look, even if your enemy goes two, uh, two scouts and denies your sheep, like we see Marine Lord denying the sheep right now from out the front of Beastie's base, uh, even if that is the case, and I don't know how he missed that. He, he, tech, he has gone over it, so it might have just not been paying attention. Uh, but we also see the twin mineral madras coming down here on the south side. So interestingly, not going to be seeing the uh, the Sully Money. I think it's the Sully Money trade market. I'm not 100% sure yet with the name, so I do apologize. I probably should have gone in and learned the names of everything before I started casting. You know, you, 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 a professional caster, guys, professional caster. But um, yeah, it just, it just makes sense to avoid that. And of course, you know, let's not forget about Anatolian Hills. Uh, one of the, the more common uh, early technologies that we are seeing players go for. And I'm curious to see how this unfolds because as as the games probably move a bit more to a, a, a feudal focus, I would suspect that you would see players avoiding that just because of the opportunity cost associated with these two ones. Now, Meta Drums, I think, is probably the weakest out of these. And we've talked a little bit about this before. Uh, if, if I was going to ra rank these guys in on a tier list... This one's probably just coming up in D tier at the moment. I don't think this one's getting any use at the moment uh, at whatsoever. Even if you go for the Age 2 trade landmark, I still don't think you're going to get any use out of it. And it sucks because it's a cool concept. Additionally, I don't really rate Genissary Company. We've seen players go for it a couple of times, but it's really not much when you think about it. You know, in, in a perfect game, you're getting five of your military schools out. That means 10 Genissaries. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. That's not even much. Like, realistically, you'd be lucky if you you sway a Castle Age battle with that many Genissaries. So, you know, I, I don't rate that one either. But we do see Marine Lord now reaching that Age up on the other side of the map. It's going to be a four-minute Age up here for him. And the question is, where does he go from here? He's moved Villagers off gold. He's also looked to pick up the Wheelbarrow upgrade. Now, Stone is at the front, so I would suspect to, to see him moving out in that direction shortly. We'll check in with Beastie as he looks to do the same thing. It's going to be Stone that he's looking to pick up for Villagers. Building that one up and also dropping down a stable. Now, the Twin Minaret Madras is in. Villagers yet to be moved over from... from uh, There you go. P perfect stuff, Beastie. I'm loving it. You can see me. You can see Aussie Drongo just waiting in, in the in, in the shadows like, oh, he hasn't moved his villagers off sheep yet. There we go. Interestingly, moves one villager over to this berry bush. I'm not sure exactly why that is. Ideally, you would want them on this one because these ones respawn. These ones do not. Uh, but uh, we'll check in now with Marine Lord, who's also going to be opening up with a stable. So very standard stuff here. Stable, obviously, uh, allows you a bit more mobility in the Dark Age. And if you open up with that stable, then it's going to provide you 
uh, with just, uh, I guess, how do you say, a little bit more control over the way the game goes. You can see Marine Lord has done the same, moved his own villagers over towards the twin Minaret Madrasa. Uh, we'll check in and see whether we've got Wheelbarrow coming through for Beastie. Yeah, so Wheelbarrow has not come through for Beastie. So he's just going to go straight for that second TC. But yeah, if, if we were talking about raiding these bad boys, it's definitely... Th this one here, it's going to be DTR. This one here, I I'm also going to put in the DTR. I don't raid it at all. But then, you know what? C-tier maybe for that one. Meta drums. I'd love for this one to be good. But I I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's just too damn clunky. I just... I can't... I can't believe that, that, that that's the way that it works. It just it just doesn't feel good. So uh, that that's that's got to be a C tier as well. Then all the other ones, like you, you start talking about field work. This is definitely, you know, up there at the A tier. A couple of little sparhees just sparring against each other at the moment. Uh, but then when it comes to S tier land or S tier uh, techs, obviously you've got your, uh, your big four, uh, which is Advanced Academy, uh, fast training, military campus, and siege crews. These guys are, 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 in my opinion, mandatory. And remember, you can only get five of these techs. That's part of the reason why, you know, we, we put them in tiers. If you could get them all, then it wouldn't be about tiers. It'd just be about which ones you got first. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I would definitely be advocating for those ones S tier. I'd be pretty close to calling uh, Anatolian Hills S tier as well. And, uh, and maybe field work, probably sitting in, like, maybe... A tier or B tier. It depends on the strat you want to go. But we do have the Vizier point about to be spent for both of these guys. We'll take a look and see what it's going to be. I'm expecting it's going to be double Anatolian hills from both of these guys. A little bit of a raid now coming through on the backside here. Villager not aware of it seems as it is just it, it, Beastie just unfortunately going to be losing out of Villager here early on in the game. A little bit of a mistake uh, coming in. A rare mistake coming in from, from Beastie. Vizier point about to be spent. Let's check and see whether it's going to be underneath uh, the town center. A whole bunch of sheep that just magically appear out of thin air. Second town center. Going to get found out here. Beastie might be in a little bit of trouble. He can always lure the boar as well. He, he lures the boar. Oh, this is going to be terrible. The boar is looking to cause some havoc now when the boar begins breaking down the enemy. Oh, look at the damage. And Beastie going to be luring that boar away. Look at Beastie. The, the, the APM just coming out right now. Absolutely immaculate APM. Manages to lure the boar over towards the east side. Needs to pull this scout back so that it... it Resets the boar aggro and should be able to get the town center up. He's only got three villages underneath. I don't know exactly how many he lost in that. Still yet to spend the Vizier point. We'll check in with Marine Lord uh, shortly and uh, just go have a look at Beastie and see what he's gone for. As I suspect... Oh, it's Meta Drums coming out from Beastie. Something that I did not expect at all. Meta Drums coming out here. So meta going to be moving across the map. So the big thing here is that the meta drums uh, not only provides the free meta, uh, but also is going to be providing an area of effect uh, for movement speed. So 15% movement speed, quite a fair bit, but there's a caveat to it. it. It's not just in the AOE. It has to be grouped up as well. So you have to be running these guys around together uh, and, and be very careful. But Spearman coming out. Town Center does get up. Let's see if he groups them all in. Ideally, you want them all, and, and they need to be next to each other. There's like all these different checkpoints that you've got to get. Uh, we've, got, we've got to meet up. We'll, we'll make sure that we change perspective so we don't get triggered by that wolf being fired down upon. But now, looks like Marine Lord has gone for Anatolian Hills. So going with the standard opening here, it's a much safer uh, opening because not only do you get that extra 10% on the mining, but you also get eight sheep in the bag as well, which is another 2,000 food. You know, we talked about this plenty of times before. It's the equivalent of having a boar underneath your town center. It is just absolutely amazing. Now a little bit of a raid coming through. Marine Lord looking to fall back away from the uh, away from the uh, the spy as they come through, but at the same time a counter raid going to be coming in. So now that players have picked up the first tier of their uh, of their military or not their military schools rather, but have picked up the first tier of their Vizier points, they're now going to unlock the second tier available to them. Uh, which will give them three new options. Of course, they can still elect to choose one of the first tier of options as well. You know, perhaps Beastie says, you know what, I like Anatolian Hills. Let's just go for that one as well. Uh, but you do limit yourself. Remember that you've only got access to five Vizier points in this game. Now, there's a, that, there's a little asterisk next to that, and that is on the condition that you don't go for the... I, I don't remember the name of the, the landmark. I do apologize, guys. The, it, it's the Council. Something... The, the Istanbul Council of uh, Education. I think that's what it's called. Uh, and that actually allows you to go up to seven uh, Vizier points instead of five. So you still got, uh, you know, you're still restricted on what you can get. And we see the third TC now coming down for Marine Lord. So where Beastie has gone for double military school, Marine Lord has gone for double TC. You got to say, wow, 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 wow. As a, a famous man once said, he's actually going to drop down his own military school, but you definitely got to like it. Ooh, villagers just wigging out for a second there. You definitely got to like the 3 TC against the 2 TC. I feel like, you know, if ever my enemy goes 2 TC and I'm going 3 TC, I'm always feeling like I'm at a good advantage because they've already invested quite a bit of resources into their own economy and now I'm just like one-upping them. 
and the, the like it, it's going to be very difficult for them to actually punish me uh, but at the same time it is still possible and we'll have to wait and see exactly how beastie looks to play this because he could very easily go all in here and look to push but once again we are seeing archers coming out of beastie from the military schools and i've talked about this before and i'll talk about it again food is the commodity food is the hot topic food is the most important resource that you've got available to you on any given map it's not wood wood it, wood is is definitely not it chief uh but uh, yeah making so when you train your archers you're essentially getting free wood and you don't want free wood you want free food because that's the good stuff but i digress we wait we watch beastie one of the best players in the world looks to try and push down upon marine lord now marine lord with the three tcs and obviously the economic advantage so the shoe is on the foot of beastie the ball is in his court village account at the moment 41 for beastie marine lord on 48 so already a significant lead beginning, beginning to build up you can see beastie about to reach that second tier of uh of his vizier points he'll unlock the three new tiers now typically what you'd see from players is military campus to come out as the next uh the next technology but we'll have to wait and see what it's going to be and he's going to go for field work so opts for another tier one now by going for the the next tier one that's also going to mean that he doesn't have access to the tier three technologies that are even further down here no sorry bob uh, it is not the case so you need to unlock a tier two to get to tier three now nice little raid coming in on the backside. looks like it's going to be fortitude as well as the meta attack speed bonus so these guys are just attacking like absolute madmen at the moment you can see their attack speed is is crazy quick Meta going to be falling back together with that spar here, but you can see the way that they move. So making sure that they're always in formation like this, it's going to buff up that movement speed. 2.16 movement speed. Pretty sure that's as fast as a horseman with, with a Mongol yam network next to it or on it, I, I think. Not 100% sure, but he comes back in. Fortitude not yet off cooldown. We'll take a look and see what, what he elects to, to keep it on. It's going to be attack speed drums for the moment, or attack drums, instead of, avoiding, or instead of going for the range defense drums, which increase it by plus one. So a very slight amount. But Marine Lord just holding on and Beast is just pumping out units. So Marine Lord, he's got a couple of options. Does he think about Castle Age? Does he think about playing it heavily in the Feudal Age? If I'm Marine Lord, I'm going very heavy Feudal. I think that's the most important thing that you can do in this position is play Feudal. You've gone for three TCs. You've got the economy, the economic advantage. The one thing that you're going to die, die to right now is a push in the Feudal Age. So you want to stay in the Feudal, mass it up, wait for your enemy. You know, really try and scout out your enemy. You've got to scout here. Try and scout their gold. If you spot their gold and you see that their gold's got nine villages on it, then by all means, you can start thinking about aging up but unless you spot you know if you spot two or three villages on gold it, it, there's no sign that that there is going to be any peace in the second age beastie now pushing out going for a very heavy feudal age push here a real focus on the feudal age we'll check in with marine lord and see what he's elected to go for with regard to his vizier points and he's gone for meta drums as well so both players picking up two tier one imperial council technologies here blasting me out of the water here with my c tier and d tier of imperial council tier lists uh but uh but still we digress we move forward and we we wait to see how it plays out because beastie on on one side has got access to the aoe healers that is correct so these two imams have unlocked the ability to heal in an aoe imams area heal nearby units for one health every second now you you spawn two imams but you can't train them yet in the second age so you're only going to be getting in two health a second on all of your units still pretty good still pretty decent uh, you can see they're all maxed out health at the moment beastie he's going to be pushing down towards this position he's got the scout in here as well provide that line of sight through the uh through the darkness and the battering rams begin to roll in counter attack up towards the north or another attack gonna get chased away by the spear battering ram unfortunately coming up a little bit short here we're gonna enter into the cinematic mode as beastie looks to try and take on marine lord once and for all this game is going to set the stage or not set the stage but rather it's going to be the stage the final game it all comes down to this the meta's tapping off their drums we see it now at the backside as well as the battering rams begin battering down the hatches archers looking good as they try and kite back but the meta on the front line gonna get picked off and now you're out without a meta at the same time we see the met double metas coming out over on the east side of the map from marine lord he's looking pretty good with this spearman combination with the archers doing a decent job sparhi not coming up with too much in their hands and villagers chasing down both of those battering rams not too many losses for the moment from marine lord so it's been a bit of a response that's come out from him he's done very well to bring it back in marine lord looking very solid in this fifth game in the series and so far you'd have to say he's doing very very well we take a look at marine lord's village account sitting on 78 villages compared to beastie who's on 61 and you can't help but feel like things starting to look a little bit dire for beastie 
He's gone for his next upgrade, and it is another tier one. He's gone for the triple, baby. It's a triple. We're going to check in with Marine Lord and see whether he's done the same thing. Marine Lord's actually moved on to military campus. So this is one of the, one of the quote-unquote, S-tier Imperial Council technologies that I would say uh, is currently in play. Uh, this technology, it, it, it feels very mandatory for me. Uh, Siege Crew is also another mandatory one. Uh, but, uh, you know, a, 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 a more, more of a late game one, I would say. Uh, but now, got a little bit of a raid coming around onto the backside. Looks like, for the most part, villagers are able to escape. Not too much damage done. He's going to look to try and chase them down. He's got the meta grouped up here, which means he's going to be able to provide that movement speed boost. But remember, you run as slow as your weakest link, so you want to make sure that this one is in, in formation as well. Spahi moving around the edge of the base. And look at the... Oh, my Lord. Look at the way that he moves. How does he do it? Just absolute beautiful stuff coming out. Manages to spot the villagers. Marine Lord well and truly aware. You, look, at, look at this. Look at Marine Lord. The way that he does it. He shift cues. He's like, I'm just going to move you back to here. And then I'm going to move you back to berries. And look at that. Immaculate. We couldn't have seen that before. But now we know the truth. We know that Marine Lord is a dirty shift queuer, and that's okay. But, I, I mean, realistically, like, how cool is that to see? You see the shift queue, and you, you're like, okay, he's falling back for the raid, but then he knows that that uh, Beastie is going to fall back as well. So maybe Beastie starts doing, you know, maybe you, you come in, scare them off, shift click them back here, and then bring them back in the Sparky. Maybe that's what you, what you start to see players do. Military school number three going to be coming down here for Marine Lord. No, this is only number two. I think he's, he's actually yet to build his third one. You can see... It's oh, not enough resources, but now going to be looking to fight once again. Marine Lord pushing on the defense. Spahi coming out. We're going to enter once again into that cinematic mode. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to witness what could potentially be the final battle here as Beastie Cutie tries to force out a decent response from Marine Lord. And indeed, he seems to get one. Meta number one gets taken out. He looks to try and focus on the second one. It falls back away from the position. Still no area of effect. Movement speed being provided here. It's not running in the formation, but Beastie Cutie is getting absolutely slaughtered. The meta... And the, the, the Sparhi together, working with the archers, it's just an absolute massive blob of units. And the economy for Marine Lord has well and truly established itself as the supremo domination at this point in the game. And Beastie is empty-handed. He's got no military. He's got no tech advantage. And he has got no economic advantage. Good game gets called. Marine Lord will be crowned your victor in this show match series. Fellas, I hope you've enjoyed this casted game. And I hope you've enjoyed this series. Make sure you check out EGC TV. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can catch them live. 15 GMT, Saturday, Sunday, every single weekend.